like D-Lo Brown mixed with CeeLo Green Mixed with De La Soul, mixed with Hennessy Sippin' gin and juice like I'm Snoop, D-O-Double-G I'm all about the W, yeah, we on the winning streak Yeah, I'm taking L's to the face, girl I beat it up like I'm Triple G But that's only if you let me, Hey, hey, Don't you disrespect me, put respect up on my name When you call, let it What's up, guys? This is T from T and J, and right now you have just tuned in to the playbook series that I'm about to go into, diving into what Marcus Mariota was really um, successful in at Oregon. So we're gonna see if all these plays translate to Madden and maybe even real life. So as you know, right now. Uh, the Titans are going through some struggles with their offensive schemes and this is why I'm diving into this so To check it out right now. This is a no huddle system and it's dependent upon the numbers So as we're looking at this play right now We have seven including our quarterback and running back on our side along with the 5-0 lineman and For the defense, there's three down linemen and two outside backers. So the score is five to seven up front so we're gonna run that every time so the defensive tackle had a great block shit right there but it still was the correct read um so the second play right here this guy is in an odd type of front with the linebackers blitzing um in the a gap but we still have numbers technically we still have numbers the box is red um, note that but we still have numbers inside so we're just gonna stay true to our read and we're gonna read off that outside defender there and make the best play so as you can see we read the outside linebacker right there and we were able to pick up a lot of yardage on this play so breaking down how that looks the outside backer is gonna stand still and that's gonna give you the uh, the read to give it to the running back and just look at the the blocking right there so a huge hole for Derrick Henry to run through and it's all set up because we don't have to block that defender so looking at it one two three four five defenders against our five office alignment so everybody is hat on hat so giving the ball to Derrick Henry is going to be the right read right here and he's going to be able to make a decision on what lane is open But checking the reverse angle, check out how that outside linebacker just holds his ground watching the quarterback. So whenever you see that, um, that's going to give you the sign to hand it off to the running back. So checking out another play right here. Still got numbers inside. We're going to give it to him again. So. This is sort of like a play that you want to run to kind of keep the defense off balance because you can do some different things here. So we're going to get into different things you can do. Um, but right there, you see the outside backer committed to the run. So let's take a look at that and see what that looks like. So looking at the outside backer, he's sprinting upfield this time. So right away, I know not to hold down a Holding down A will give the ball to Henry. I just don't press anything and Mariota will go around that outside backer. So here it is from the rear view. From the snap, you can see he's running upfield. So you're gonna take your hand off the A button and Mariota's gonna keep it and take the ball upfield for what is there. So four yard gains are always good, but they can always break for more. So still working with this play. And as you can see, he has two linebackers in the inside A gap. And as you look at the numbers on the outside, it's two versus three. So when it's two versus three on the outside, we wanna throw that outside screen. So at Oregon, they ran this play so much that teams knew what were coming, but based upon what they saw as the best option, they just did. So no matter what the play came in the same it's just Mariota making the correct read so right here easily we throw it out here there's no one out there we got numbers and we pick up five so essentially this is not a touchdown play but it's for the wide receiver to pick up yards as if he was the running back so it's an extension of the run game 
so as you can see if the blocking is good out there we can get a lot more yards but on that one we pick up five but we can take that especially when you're running no huddle so here we are doing it again and the wide receiver does not pick up the block and you can see how much you need your wide receivers to block in this type of play so in college i know that this much more uh, accessible to be able to block this type of play and in the NFL it's a lot bigger task but if you have the right receivers um, it can be done so it can definitely be done uh, this is a video game but I like the scheme um, I would like to see it on Sundays as well so still looking at the defense we got numbers outside again and right there we do get good blocking a weird kind of juke move right there but um we'll take it and um yeah it's just a numbers game so here again got numbers on the outside and that's going to be a five yard game so we'll take that every time so now we're checking to our next play which is our fake screen pass right here and um we want to attack a defense that's blitzing us with this play because it's man on man cover zero for the defense and we're just going to suck the defense in with the screen and quite honestly um i threw over to my x receiver but i could have took one of the one-on-one -on -one matchups on the outside so we have delaney walker with a corner which is in my opinion a mismatch and eric decker with a linebacker so both of these options right here um, are possible as you can see the cornerback has to break down on the screen and that leaves both of these guys um, along with this corner over here in man coverage so as long as the ball is thrown on time um, this pass will be completed almost every time so as you can see the ball is being thrown way before the receiver even breaks so a closer look he's throwing the ball and the ball is probably about five yards away from him and he's already turning and the ball is right there in the bread basket so so here we are running it again we still got room outside the numbers are there and we get blocks so breaking that down again you see how the outside backer is crashing down because of the run the linebackers are staying inside um, because they're worried about inside zone so that's why this play is effective because we're making a lot of defenders choose what to cover so on the outside i would like to have decker go get that block a little sooner but he still gets it just in time uh for corey davis to then move the ball upfield and get an easy six to seven yard gain right there so that's that now we're going to check out a, another formation that uses the same concept and it's the gun double stack so we're going to put the defense in a random play here and the same thing applies um, we want to check the numbers game so right now we have two screens on both sides um, Eric Decker and Delaney Walker lead blocking with uh, Corey Davis and uh, Rashard Matthews taking the screen. So just going to be numbers again. As you can see, the read triangle is over the, or the read diamond actually, is over that outside backer corner or whatever, way over here over Delaney Walker. So we're actually going to always keep it with the quarterback when that happens because the DN that's right in between Conklin and um, Klein is actually gonna get sealed in. So taking a look at that again. Okay, we have we could have gave it to, we could have gave it to Derrick Henry right there, but according to what we read, we're gonna take this ball and wrap it around. I wish I could have wrapped it around a little a little tighter off of Conklin there, um, but that's the right read to take and. Uh, still going to gain four yards and still keep the defense off balance so here we are looking at it again he only has six in the box so we give it off to Derrick Henry and check out the room that that creates so we get a 
nice seal block um, on the back side but we're still reading this outside in so you can as you can see he has that stance over there where he's stopping and just looking at the quarterback and check out this big huge gap that Derrick Henry can run through and it's him in a safety and we want we, we would love that in real life so I don't know how much this can translate to the NFL but as far as Madden goes I mean I use these plays all the time and I swear Derrick Henry runs over every safety in this league like almost every single time so I like to use that play a lot so here we are breaking down um, our pass option on this one so as you can see they're in man coverage and we just split both of the corners one's reading inside one's reading outside and they have to cross right there so when you have your receiver stack like that you make it so difficult for the cornerbacks to defend because they don't know whether you're going inside or you're going outside so Corey Davis is gonna take the inside and Decker's gonna take the outside and both cornerbacks are in trail position and I'm able to find Corey Davis over the middle for easy uh, completion right there and it could have happened on the outside for Eric Decker as well so back to Derrick Henry lots of room inside on the inside zone read so breaking into the screen for this kind of play still the same um you would like to have a receiver who can break a tackle or two there you're still going to get like modest gains three to five yard gains but you never know when it might move the chains for you so you always want to be safe and um these are just safe plays like i said it's a uh, up tempo no huddle uh type of situation you're not going to play the whole game like this or anything like that but when you want to switch up the tempo and kind of pick up you know four or five yard gains and bust them with the read option for 10 yards this is your this is your this is your play so like i said this package play system was very effective at oregon and i really do think it could be effective in the league depending on when you run it and how you run it so there we are hitting eric decker on the out route Another thing I like to do is run our our screen with a go route. Um, instead of blocking that guy, we just send him on a go route, and that actually works um, as a block because it takes a guy out of the play because he has to guard that defender. So sometimes Marcus Mariota can throw a good deep ball, but depending on who's running that streak, um, that's gonna matter. So. As you can see, man, this, this offense is very effective, in my opinion. Um, you just have to know how to run it. So, it's all about numbers. So, if you got the numbers inside, you're going to run it. If you got the numbers outside, you're going to pass it. So, that's pretty much the scheme, guys. And if you want to see these plays ran in a Madden game, check out my Ball Star Connected Franchise playlist, and uh, you'll see those. So, follow along with that, and I'll be running this offense. So... See you guys. Peace.